Ambiano Barista Style Espresso Maker, sold by Aldi for 38 quid. Let's begin with showing all of the components of the set. Starting with a glass jack, probably made of Pyrex glass, with a plastic cover and a plastic handle. Unfortunately, handle and the cover, I think the cover can be removed by the handle, cannot be easily detached. That would be handy for um, deep washing from time to time of the jack. Marking on the jack uh, show 1 to 4. They indicate volume, but I have no idea in what units. But the manual says that number 4 is around 200 milliliters, so around one coffee cup. Next in the set is a plastic measuring spoon that is made of polypropylene, as indicated by the recycling symbol inside of it. I think uh, this sort of a spoon is much bigger than a regular spoon, so two of them would get you a very very strong coffee. And now the heart of the device, our coffee funnel with a metal coffee filter inside. Plastic handle is not easily detachable and again that might be handy for a periodic deep clean of the device. There's a sieve lock on the funnel so you can shake out your coffee when you're done with um, making it. On top of the espresso maker we can find a plastic water reservoir lid with some warnings imprinted on it, so please read them carefully. Anyways, there's a small control knob on the right side of the device where you can choose whether you want to make coffee, whether you want to pause the device, release the pressure or whether you want to do milk frotting. At the base of the device you will find drip tray that is removable and can be easily cleaned in dishwasher as most parts of this um, coffee maker set. When I was trying to show you power rating of the device that is around 870 watts as far as I remember from the box, I just wanted to find you the sticker at the bottom of the device. I spilled all of the water that was inside after someone else making the first coffee in the device and did not use all of the water. So I had to do uh, so I had to do a bit of a cleanup before proceeding with making the first coffee before making the first coffee in this very device by myself. When done with spill I transferred leftovers of water into a glass just to check out how much previous user left in the machine itself. Anyway, I got the device ready and filled the funnel with uh, one, well, maybe two spoons of coffee, but um, most of all I filled in the water reservoir with uh, one jug of water, that's around 200 milliliters, and then I loaded the funnel with the coffee filter with uh, one spoon, but then I thought, hmm, maybe it's better to use two spoons to get the coffee really, really strong and I got the device up and ready for action. I locked the lid and the funnel in place and I got the jack under the funnel. Let's see some coffee making action. It does take a minute or two to heat up but when fully heated dripping the coffee takes less than a minute. I just wanted to get you some uh, close-up action. So here it is. This is how the coffee looks like. It seems to be quite strong so it is espresso. and. Um, one of our neighbors got a similar device for 500 quid and her device is not fully operational anymore and I think that um, it was sent for warranty but um, I don't know what's the story with the device and simply this device is 38 quid that would be probably something like 45 dollars um, so it is cheap and I think that um, it's cheaper to buy 10 of them and they have warranty for two years I think that they will I think that this device will work longer so for 380 let's say for 400 dollars you can buy 10 of these devices and that would last you around 20 maybe 30 years instead of buying one expensive device that would technically speaking do exactly the same thing and it is highly possible that they were even made in the same factory in China and just this one is sold under a much cheaper brand and that's it. It seems to be fully operational so our first um, jug of coffee is ready so now I decided that I want to get some milk frotting action. 
So let's see what happened then. Oh, I would have forgotten to show you the funnel when the coffee is ready. So it seems that most of the coffee taste has been um, extracted from the coffee powder. So let's get rid of the um, coffee brick and let's get some uh, milk frothing action. I have to be honest, I do not have really much experience in even drinking coffee, not in making it. Because in making coffee I have no experience at all, I drank maybe 5 coffees in my life. But the thing is that um, I don't really know what's good coffee, what's bad coffee, what's the difference. I, I don't drink coffee, so I'm not, a, I'm not an expert in this very matter. So please forgive me any uh, faux pas that I did or will commit in this very video. So I wanted to get some um, milk frothing action as I said before. I got um, half a glass of milk and I used the device to get some bubbles into the milk uh, to get it into a nice foam and at the very beginning of the process I was quite successful I, I have to say but I did not expect that uh, releasing the, all the steam from the instrument would um, cause it to spill all over the place. So I had a small accident that I had to clean because this device does not belong to me. So. Well, anyway, I had a dishwasher, so that would help. And um, the other thing is that um, most of the parts of the set are removable, so you can remove them and just wash them in the dishwasher. So that's handy. Apart from that, um, I got the coffee ready. Of course, I forgot about sugar, but honestly, I did not drink it because I don't drink coffee. I simply don't like it. But if you want a cheap espresso maker, I think this is the way to go. It is just around 40 bucks so it's not expensive and if you don't like it it won't be a big buy like for 500 quid oh and the funnel i have forgotten about that so so the coffee brick removal is quite easy you just shake it knock it and it should pop out no problem and with the uh, locking device uh, the filter should stay the same then you can remove the filter wash all of the elements of the set in dishwasher if you want and then bin it and of course the old one the old uh, coffee maker that uh, used capsules is gonna go to the bin so and you know these capsules are expensive and they are not too good for the environment because they both contain aluminium and plastic and this one simply broke so that's why um, my GF got a new one that was for 38 quid and I hope that it will serve for years so goodbye to the old one and hopefully the new one will last forever well as you can see <clears throat> I think that's it for today. So remember about watching some other of my videos here, here and here. That's it. Happy New Year. Bye bye.